Okay, welcome back to the channel. Apologies, it's been about a week, 10 days since I last put a video out, but been really, really busy. Uh, I'm back down here at Ashbury, as you can see. Um, and the reason I've been busy is because this fitting studio pretty much completed. So we're gonna go inside and have a little bit of a look. Um, there is some empty kind of wall space, so to speak, because we're waiting on a few brands to turn up and the latest equipment to come in, which is due sort of like mid-February like the new Callaway Epic, the Titleist stuff, that kind of stuff. I'm hoping to have Ping on by then as well. But uh, let's go inside and have a look at the finished studio. So we're inside the studio now, it's a little bit echoey because the door's shut. Let's give you a little tour of the studio. So that's excuse, like obviously the bag and that's there. But if we start here, um, this is just rubbish to go in. So we've got TV there, which will hook up to GC Quad. So everything that is shown on the computer will be shown up there. Unfortunately, we broke that TV moving it, so there is a replacement coming. Then obviously we've got a few bags over here. So this is our Cleveland wedge fitting kit, different shafts. We've got Vokey coming and Callaway jaws. Then in here are sort of the heads for some of the irons. So this is the Strix and Cleveland drawer, for example. Then we've got um, demo sets for Orca, so we've got four different sets, sort of four to pitching wedge and five to pitching wedge, so you can get a feel for the clubs, they're there. Then there's my desk with the uh, computer and things on it, ready to go. Then we've got the Swixen fitting part over there, and obviously shafts for the Cleveland, so that's Cleveland and Swixen in there. Then moving around, we've got um, Orca, so we've got demo sets of the driving irons, Got, got some demo hybrids and then the shafts and the heads. Then there's Callaway going in there. And then up here we've got X-Pot, which is for our potter fitting. Um, so we can do like launch direction, distance, path, impact angle and all that kind of stuff using this software. So we'll be able to fit for putters on that. Obviously this wall here is a bit bare at the moment, but there will be sort of ping, Titleist um, and any other brands we get on for it going into that space. Then we've got uh, a really good hitting mat here. So what I like about this hitting mat is, is it's really thick. So if you hit it back, you do get punished, but also takes tees as well. So we'll be able to sort of try and get it as, as better, as, as good feeling as possible. So it, if you hit it fat, it does punish you. Um, some ranges when you hit it fat, obviously it bounces and it's not really that accurate. So this is about as best as you can get when it comes to hitting mats for realism, when it comes to hitting in a studio anyway. And then obviously we've got put out on the floor there um, just for people to practice their putting. And then we've got the, uh, this and if we open this up then we go out into the hitting bay and I'd have to excuse the sand on the floor there um, they've just sort of top dressed it to add some weight to the um, the grass but fortunately it's after they dropped did it it rained so it's not a chance to brush in yet but then we hit out into the range so as you can see it's not a full distance range so you can't see the ball flight but with quad and things like that we'll be able to at least simulate it and then we've obviously got as we've said before out there we've got 96 holes to choose from to go and be able to prove the fit so i think once like this is just going to be so good when it comes to opening, um, which brings me on to opening. So when it comes to opening, it's obviously lockdown dependent and tier restrictions dependent, but as soon as golf courses open and ranges and things open, then this will open for fitting. So I've opened my diary from the 15th of March, maybe optimistically, but if anybody wants to book in from the 15th of March onwards, then please contact me on the email address that's going to go at the bottom of the screen. It's ashburyclubfitter at gmail.com. And that goes if you're due to come here on holiday or you're planning a holiday, contact me and I may be able to help you book in and, and sort of get your holiday booked for later in the year. But if you are coming here later in the year for your um, golf holiday and you want to book in, we can book it. You can book your time in any way up to the end of the year now. Um, my complete diary is open. Lockdown, obviously... Uh, dependent so if you do want to come from the 15th of March for the new stuff contact me on that email address and the first 25 people who do book in 
and come down after that date will receive some form of discount off of your order. It's a little bit, it depends what you're buying as to what discount you get, but everybody who comes in will get a discount. The fitting charge here is £25 for the hour. Um, and we're looking at about an hour for a driver or a single club fitting and then to be able to take it on the course, maybe 90 minutes for um, an iron fitting. But, you know, it, it all depends on, on what happens. Wedge fittings in here will be gapped in here. So we'll do the gapping in here and then we'll go out on the course and we'll work out what your bounces and grinds are that are benefit for you, depending on your delivery and the, and the ground conditions you play in. So all that will be available from the 15th of March. So please contact me on that email address if you want to come in. Um, hoping to have ping in by then, all the latest Callaway stuff, all the Titleist stuff. Um, obviously, uh, Swixen and Cleveland, and maybe one more if we can get it by then. So yeah, it's, it's an exciting time. Are you two enjoying yourself? Yeah. Where have you been for the last 10 days? Um, I've been up to Ashbury, but Lee didn't film me because he didn't want me to take all the limelight off him. <laughs> Is that but for your new fitting studio? Basically, I did the whole fitting studio that day. I kicked it all out with all the um, drivers on the stands and um, the shafts in the right, you know, order of where they go. Set his computer up for him. Yeah. What did I do then? Well basically sat there and moaned about some display thing that you didn't have and then you did have it because I told you I had it um, and that like a sandwich and crisps and stuff and I did all the work well congratulations thanks for that and look at this little thing on her, on her belly yeah she's uh starting to lift her head now and roll over and stuff aren't you Noah? well she was trying her hardest earlier on to roll over but couldn't quite Noah, oh, there's the dog. Noah, hey, hey, <laughs> you gorgeous. <laughs> okay, as always, thanks for watching. Um, if you do, like I've said, been previously in this video, if you do want to get in contact with me, the email is in the back, and I will put it in the description as well. Um, and I look forward to seeing some of you hopefully when lockdown lifts. Um, and when you come for your holiday to Ashbury, there will be a discount code available to book your holiday with where you'll get a discount on your holiday. I'm just waiting for that to be activated. So I'm gonna try and bring as much from Ashbury as I can to you. And um, hopefully at some point, once we all get out of this, I'll be able to give a little holiday away as well. But otherwise, if you are new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Please comment down below. Let me know what you think of the studio and if you wanna come for a fit in. But otherwise, stay safe and I'll see you next time.